so this is the oven to SMD oven conversion we're gonna do. Um, so this is a convection oven. A lot of people just use uh, normal toaster ovens. I, I guess it's a convection toaster oven. Um, but we just want to do that just because to help kind of the air flow around better inside the oven. Because um, we have noticed like if you just have the top and bottom elements, you got to be careful where you put the parts. Otherwise, it'll get um, certain spots hotter than others. So right now we're just going to go, uh, we already tore it apart and everything. So we're just going to add sealant along this backside um, on the, the fan part real quick with the uh, with sealant and then we'll go in here and just lay beads down inside for the rest of it. We got all the sealant added, so now we're just gonna go ahead and take all the wires off here so we can start figuring out where the relays go, start putting all that together. So these are the solid state relays that we're going to hook um, all the heating elements and the fan into. I don't know why we have three, but we got to currently have to drill a hole in this uh, plate right here and then somehow glue it to the thing in here. And we also got these other metal sheets for something, maybe a bus bar. I don't know. So we're just going to put this thing together real quick, drill a couple holes and uh, get this thing fired up.
Relay. All right, so we got all the relays bolted up. So I think we're gonna go ahead and start putting like the power system and uh, maybe hooking up the controlio now. Alright, so I think what we're going to do next is put these uh, reflective pads inside the oven. Uh, so we got the Controlio uh, like holder mounted up there. Um, I think Anson's working on the power supply junk. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut these in half and just lay these down here underneath the um, heating element so it reflects that energy back up so that's not getting absorbed down there in the bottom and on the top. I said probably should have put one in the back over there to help reflect the heat out maybe, but oh well. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna kind of do I think this now, so yeah. All right, so we're gonna have some issues with the back just because it's curved. Um, so we went ahead and put the aluminum back there first, stuck that to the uh, curved part, and then we put some of that, what is that stuff called? Uh, the gold stuff? Yeah. It's like reflective gold or something. Uh, and then we put the reflective gold kind of around the outsides to kind of try to help uh, cover up any of the rest of that stuff where we didn't want to try to get this aluminum stuff. So all I can say is good luck with that part. All right, so finally got all of the um, aluminum stuff and the reflective gold on here. I'll be honest, if you have uh, elements that are really close to the top or bottom of the oven, you should probably just take them out. Um, you'll see in the video, we did, we, uh, we got the bottom one stuck halfway um, and that was a pain in the ass to try to get um, unconnected. The other way I've found that um, makes it really easy is that what you do is you take this You'll remove the uh, um, the backing here, like almost undo it all, almost completely, then put it back on there really gently, slide it wherever it is, and then kind of grab the edge, pull it back a little bit, um, get this part right here uh, uh, stuck down with the adhesive, 
and then go ahead and just pull the rest of that off. And if you, <clears throat> by doing, by pulling that um, plastic off first, or almost all the way off, it, it makes it so it's not connected as well. So that way when you try to go this way and pull it off while it's laying down mostly, it's a lot easier to remove that. Um, so that's the, seems like the best way to do that. But like I said, if you have uh, heater elements that are really close to the top or bottom, I'd maybe test it, but it might just be easier just to remove them. Um, since you already have that sealant stuff, it'd be really easy just to pop them out, get everything stuck down there really nice and easily, and then put them back in.